Hard to believe that this trash-strewn home is an exclusive Beverly Hills. The pool looks like toxic soup. The mansion has been seized by alleged squatters, and it's perhaps the most expensive property in the squatting epidemic afflicting America. Fran Solomon owns the house next door. The parties continued night after night after night, and they weren't the kind of parties that ended at 12. They were the kind of parties that started at 1 a.m. in the morning, went through the morning hours till 7, 8 o'clock in the morning. The mansion is just across the street from where LeBron James's dream home is under construction, and the basketball grade is reportedly concerned over the damage to the neighborhood. The alleged squatter says he has every right to be here, and he showed me a lease, which he says proves it. But the agent selling this multi-million dollar estate says that lease is a fake. People have been arrested up there for drug abuse and for nuisance, for loud noise. The police have been up there at least 150 times. I got exclusive access to the mansion. It's unclear how many alleged squatters are living here, but one of them is a 34-year-old actor from Italy, Morgan Gargiulo. The place is a mess, and Gargiulo admits he and his friends turned the house into Party Central. One all-night bash drew 645 revelers and didn't end until 9 a.m. Was this turned into a nightclub, essentially? Better than that. It's a mansion. You know, I mean, it was classier than that, I would say. I had like but, a, but this was know, basically a party house, no? Uh, at some point, yeah. Here's what the house looked like inside when it was listed at $4.5 million, lavishly furnished and picture perfect. Now sheets are hanging up instead of fancy curtains. Gargiulo promises there won't be any more parties, but anyone with a vacant Beverly Hills mansion might want to watch out. Are you planning on staying? Are you planning on moving? I'm planning on staying for a while, but, but I will be moving to a much better place.